Hey everybody, welcome to the channel and welcome to Plasticity. My name is Mike and today we're going to be talking about OBJ export settings. Now, before I show you that screen setup, um, why would you export something anyway, right? Well, typically you're going to export a model for the next step in the process. And that, depending on the software you're using, can be pretty much anything. It can be uh, rigging, it can be texturing, it can be animation, it can be all of those things, right? Now, when it comes to OBJ settings, you kind of need to keep in mind why are you exporting and what are you going to do next, right? Now, nowadays, almost all good software packages have options to remesh or retopo, right? Now, what's the difference between the two? Remeshing is usually an automated process. So it takes your entire model and it redoes the retopology right from start to finish and you get what you get right now the thing there is it's usually uniform as in it's the same everywhere now um retopo on the other hand is usually a manual process where you might say oh i got a character that i'm working on i want more topology more density in the face area maybe less on the body and so forth okay but regardless, when you export a model out of plasticity, it's important to understand what you're going to do next, right? Now, in this case, this is a hard surface model. This is not going to be animated. It's not going to deform in any way. Uh, so I don't really have a lot of issues with that, right? So basically, I could just export it any way I want, right? Now, that's not entirely true. And I'll show you if I go up here and click on export. I get the name, my sci-fi numpad that we did in a previous video, and I'm just going to click on save, and that will open up my window, right? Now, right now, we're in uh, triangles, in tris, right? Triangles. And you can see that we have a lot going on, and it doesn't necessarily look pretty, right? Okay. Now, if this were purely, for example, to go into Keyshot and uh, apply materials and render, it could be okay. But I don't want that, right? I don't want this. I want uh, to do something else. So let's look at quads. Now, you can do that as well. But you see, again, that we have some, uh, not necessarily artifacts, but some potential areas for artifacts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select N-Gons. Now, it already looks a lot cleaner. Now, probably if you are familiar with my channel, you hear me say very often, oh, N-Gons is a big no-no, right? And if you're not familiar with N-Gon, an N-Gon is a surface with more than four sides, okay? Now, um, because that typically creates problems when you're animating and whatnot. No, that's not going to happen in this case, so I'm going to choose N-Gons. I get the option to choose the density. Right now, it's set to 0 0.5. I have the option to go up to 1, right? And when I do that, you see I get a lot more density on this pipe here. Don't necessarily need that. So maybe I'll just go back. All right. Okay, cool. Now, this is going to be for a still render, not for a game or anything. So uh, higher density doesn't matter. Now, what's important, though, when you select N-Gons is to check the minimal width and the maximum width. And that is related to... Um, how faces are connected, right? Now, let's look up here, for example. You see that there are connection lines going on. If you got an end gone, if you got something floating in midair, it has to be connected somewhere, right? But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the tolerance here. So right now, the minimum width is 0 0.01, and I'm gonna set that to 0 0.00001, right? And then we're gonna jump to the max width, and I'm going to select 0 0.001 and hit enter. Now, you probably think, well, I don't see a lot of difference, but it looks a lot cleaner, okay? So this is the one I'm going with, and now I can just go and simply click on OK and export the file, right? So uh, that's how I approach my export, and uh, hopefully it was helpful, right? Uh, try this with your models. Definitely try this with um, different types of models. And depending on what you're exporting, you will see kind of a variance in what it would look like, all right? 
Okay, that's it for me. That's it for this video. Hopefully it was helpful. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Consider liking, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.